Hello and welcome to Reality Check. China finally and fully lifted virtually all of its COVID-related restrictions for international travelers. Relief, ecstasy and pure joy. This is great news. I mean, it's good for emotional connections between friends and family. It's good for international exchanges with more students, more foreign students and foreign businessmen coming back to China and vice versa. And it could be good for the world economy. A lot of investors we've talked to are rubbing their hands to return to China this year. I can only imagine goods, people, investment and ideas surging across the Chinese borders in both directions. Actually, my team went to Beijing's international airport on the very first day of the reopening and caught up with travelers to China who don't have to go through quarantine. I'm traveling back from Latvia. I went there for Christmas and New Year's holiday and then now back to China to spend the spring festival with my girlfriend. <laughs> yeah, it's much more convenient now. So, uh, yeah, we're really happy now that we do not have these restrictions anymore. As I work in tourism industry, so these three years were really hard for us, you know. Um, so now it will be much easier to organize uh, conferences, the things we do. And yeah, I'm looking forward to that, you know. On the economic side, just look at the tourism industry. Bookings for overseas travel during the upcoming Lunar New Year holiday have soared by 540% from a year ago, according to data from the Chinese travel website Ctrip. Average spending per booking jumped 32%. The top destinations are in the Asia Pacific, including Australia, Thailand, Japan, and Hong Kong SAR. Thailand's tourism authorities say that they expect 5 million Chinese tourists to visit in 2023. Compare that against just 270,000 in 2022. Actually, Thailand's public health minister, transport minister, and tourism and sports minister were all at Bangkok's main international airport on Monday, on January the 9th, to welcome the first group of Chinese visitors. Wow, thank you, Thailand. The Economist magazine says China's reopening is the biggest economic event of the year 2023. It predicts that Hong Kong could see an estimated 7.6% boost to its GDP as exports and tourism income from the mainland increase. Thailand's GDP may be boosted by 2.9%, while Singapore could get a lift of 1.2%. Because it's not just tourism, exporters of the commodities that China consumes could also benefit. Don't forget, China buys a fifth of the world's oil, over half of its refined copper, nickel and zinc, and more than three-fifths of its iron ore. The financial market reacted positively to China's new measures. On January the 9th, Asia-Pacific markets traded higher across the board, and reopening-related stocks in tourism and consumer retails surged. Goldman Sachs Group said Chinese stocks may rally another 15% this year. Of course, there are concerns too. There's concern that rising demand from China, who is the biggest oil importer, may further push up oil prices. There's concern that it may take a while for China to produce as many stuff as it used to, given the constant disruptions to their production and their supply chains in the past three years. And there's concern that it may take a while for foreign investors and businesses to regain their confidence and sense of security in the Chinese market, which had been marked by stringent COVID measures. But one should not underestimate the ability of China's policymakers to adapt to changing circumstances. There are many channels through which the public vent their concerns in China about existing policies and push for policy change and optimization. Now to sum up, let's hope that the year 2023 will be a fantastic year. For all of those who've been watching CGTN, welcome to China, or shall I say welcome back to China. And we look forward to visiting as many of your countries as possible in the year 2023.